The Rust Bolt Resistance is a new faction coming in patch 8.2 on the island of Mechagon, and this faction is actually going to give you quite a lot of stuff, so it's a reputation that you're going to want to grind up as quickly as possible. For starters, getting to Revered with the Rust Bolt Resistance is one of the requirements behind the Battle for Azeroth Pathfinder Part 2 achievement, which will allow you to fly in all the various different Battle for Azeroth zones, including Mechagon and Najdatar. So if you want to be able to fly, you will need to get yourself to Revered with the Rust Bolt Resistance. On top of that, the Faction Quartermaster will have a few things for you to buy as well. For example, at Honored, you'll be able to buy the Heart of Azeroth Essence. At Revered, you'll be able to buy an upgrade that will allow you to craft 420 trinkets and rings. And at Exalted, you'll be able to purchase the Rust Bolt Resistor Mount, alongside an inscription recipe for Rust Bolt Resistance contracts, and finally an engineering recipe for the Blintron 7000. So, to get your reputation with the Rust Bolt Resistance is mainly going to revolve around daily activities, meaning you're going to have to come to the island every day to keep on top of your reputation gains. If you do the stuff every day, you're looking at about 2 weeks to get to Revered, and about 3-4 to four weeks to get to Exalted. The first method of gaining reputation is to go through the main storyline, so this will be the storyline to basically get to Mechagon and then start aiding the Rust Bolt Resistance. This questline isn't very long, but it will give you a nice little bit of reputation, so you should be doing all of those quests. The second method is to kill the rare spawns on the island of Mechagon. There's quite a lot of them, and every time you kill one for the first time, you'll be awarded with 75 reputation. Now, they may add it so you get reputation for future kills, but so far on the PTR that isn't the case. The next method is to complete the world quest which there'll be one available every day and this is kind of like a main objective so you'll either have to kill rares or you'll need to loot chests on the island or you'll need to aid with construction projects. Either way you'll get that done and you'll get a big chunk of reputation, around 800 for doing this. So you definitely want to be making sure you're doing that every day. Next up is pet battles. Every day on the island there'll be a new pet battle world quest for you to complete and when you do complete it you'll get 75 reputation. On top of that for every pet battle boss that you defeat for the first time you'll get a quest item that you can hand in for an additional 75 reputation as well. These battles are quite difficult though so you definitely want to have a good amount of pets prepared that are level 25 to be able to do this. The next method for gaining reputation is going to be another daily activity but this one's going to involve fishing. If you fish in certain areas of Mechagon, you have a chance to fish up a rare fish, and you can hand that into Danielle Angler for 25 reputation. There's going to be 10 rare fish that you can get total, so that's 250 reputation per day that you can get if you fish up all of the rare fish. Right now there'll be a screenshot on the screen showing you the various locations you need to fish in, and this image was created by Kingi over at Wowhead, so credit goes to them for creating it. The final method for gaining reputation is going to be through daily quests, and if you've missed daily quests, well you're in luck because there's quite a lot of them to do on the island of Mechagon. There's going to be three main types of daily quests available. The first type up is going to be guest dailies. This will be two NPCs that will come to the island randomly every day, and they'll have a chunk of quests for you to do. So for example, it could be Chromie who will send you to an alternate version of Mechagon, or it could be pirates and they'll affect an area of the map and there'll be a bunch of pirates and treasure for you to collect. So basically there'll be just these new NPCs there, randomly rotates, but the interesting thing is they also impact the map, the NPCs and the mobs may change a little bit too. So it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for which guests are available on that day and completing all the quests that they have available. The next type of dailies available are going to be with the citizens of Mechagon and Rustball itself, and you'll find these kind of randomly scattered across the island. The quests are always in a set location, but you just don't know which ones are going to be available on that day, so you will need to look around the island to see which ones are up, because it could be in the bottom right corner of the map, or it could be in Bonbo's yard, so you really need to be looking around the map to see which ones are available, and complete them for the reputation. The final type of daily available is going to be static dailies. These are basically daily quests you'll find in the same spot every single day. You won't have to go hunting for them or anything like that. You can head to the same location and you'll find them every day. The first static daily is going to be the Recyclizer, which you'll find in Junkwatt Depot. You'll head over there and there'll basically be this machine that will give you a quest, and that will be to collect a bundle of recyclable parts. You get the bundle of recyclable parts by killing the mobs in Junkwatt Depot. These will drop three lesser parts that you'll combine into a bundle of recyclable parts, and then you can hand that in, and you can do that once per day for 150 reputation. It's also worth noting that it'll let you continue handing in bundle of recyclable parts, but you won't gain any more reputation from it. You'll just gain spare parts and stuff like that. So if you're after more of that, it's a good way of getting it. 
but outside of that you won't get more reputation. The other static daily you should be able to find where you landed as Horde or Alliance, so basically your little dock area. There should be an NPC there that you can hand stuff into once per day. Now what you need to hand in will change, but that NPC will always be there and you'll be able to contribute some kind of item. But either way you'll be able to give it something and you'll get reputation for doing that once per day. So worth doing as well if you're looking to maximise your reputation gains. So that is it in terms of methods to give you reputation with the Rust Bolt Resistance. As I said, most of this stuff is going to be revolving around daily activities. So you'll head to the island, you'll knock out all your daily quests, your world quest, get all the reputation you want, and then you'll be mostly done with the island for the day, unless you want to hang around and kill the rares, etc. But keep trying to come back to the island daily and repeating the methods I mentioned in the video, and then keep going until you get your reputation to either revered or exalted, whichever one you're after, really. But that does bring an end to this video, and if you found this video some help to you, then consider supporting the channel on Patreon. There is a Patreon link down below, and even $1 helps out a ton. Outside of that, look out for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.